Okay, we're going to complete the square for y equals x squared plus 6x minus 5. So, half the 6 down to 3, create a squared bracket. 3 squared is 9, so we get rid of that and we still need to take away 5. Final answer will be x plus 3, all squared minus 14. Example 2, y equals x squared plus 3x minus 4. So, half 3 down to 3 over 2, create a squared bracket. So we're now going to get rid of 3 over 2 squared, so we square top and bottom, 3 squared is 9, 2 squared is 4, so that's getting rid of 9 over 4, and we need to take away 4, so that'll be x plus 3 over 2, all squared, minus 9 over 4, and if we think about, for example, 4 is 4 pizzas, that would be 16 quarters, so that's a common denominator. Final answer, x plus 3 over 2 all squared minus 25 over 4. I'm going to complete the square for 2x squared plus 8x minus 5. Well, first of all, we'll take out a numerical common factor from the first two terms. So that's 2 bracket x squared plus 4x minus 5. It's then time to complete the square. So we'll have the 2 down to 4, create a square bracket. So 2 squared is 4, but we need to multiply that by 2. So that means that we need to get rid of 8 and still take away 5. Final answer is 2 bracket x plus 2 all squared minus 13. Let's try another one. So 3x squared minus 12x plus 7. So again, a numerical common factor of 3, bracket x squared minus 4x, close the bracket plus 7, complete the square. So half the minus 4 down to a minus 2, all squared. So minus 2 squared is 4, but times that by 3 and that's 12, so I need to take away 12 and still add on 7. And that will give me 3, bracket x, minus 2, all squared, minus 5. Okay, next one, we're going to complete the square and also state the turning point of the parabola and its nature, so that's whether it's got a minimum or maximum turning point. So it's the equation y equals 4x squared minus 12x plus 7. Well, first of all, it's a positive x squared, so that's going to be a U-shaped parabola. We'll then take out a common factor of 4 from the first two terms, so that's 4 bracket x squared minus 3x, close the bracket plus 7, and then half the minus 3 down to minus 3 over 2, square the bracket plus 7. So minus 3 over 2 all squared is going to be positive 9 over 4, but I need to multiply that by 4 as well. So that will give me 36 over 4, so I'm getting rid of 36 over 4 plus 7. So that will be 4 bracket x minus 3 over 2 all squared. It's important at that point to realise that minus 36 over 4 can be written as minus 9 plus 7. And that will be 4 bracket x minus 3 over 2 all squared minus 2. I can then go through a familiar routine of finding the turning point by changing the sign of that, and that will give me the x coordinate, and not changing the sign of that, and that will give me the y coordinate, that's the turning point, and it is a minimum turning point given the fact that it was a positive x squared equation. OK, the next question, we're going to complete the square and then sketch the curve of the parabola, marking the turning point and where the curve cuts the y-axis. And it's for the curve y equals 2x squared 
minus ax plus 13. So take out the numerical common factor of 2, bracket x squared minus 4x, that's from the first two terms, plus 13. I know to get going that it's a positive x squared, therefore it's a u-shaped parabola, so that's the nature of the curve done. And then complete the square, so that will be x minus 2 all squared plus 13. So slight error in that line. For completing the square, half the minus 4 down to minus 2. So minus 2 squared is 4, positive 4, but times that by 2 and that's 8, so I need to get rid of 8 and then add on 13. And that will give me 2 bracket x minus 2 all squared minus 8 plus 13 is plus 5. I can then pick out the turning point by changing the sign of that and not changing the sign of that, that will give me my turning point. So I now know that it's a parabola with a minimum turning point, which is 2, 5. I now need to check the y-axis, because I want to find out what it cuts there. It's important at that point to remember that the curve will cut the y-axis when x equals 0. So I can go back to either the original equation or the equation with the completed square and sub in x equals 0, either of which will be fine, and sub in x equals 0. So that will be 2 lots of 0 squared minus 8 lots of 0 plus 13. And that will give me 13. So the point that I cut the y-axis is 0, 13. So I now need to put this all together, the nature of the curve, the turning point, and where we cut the y-axis. That may look a bit like this. So cutting at 13 and a minimum turning point at 2.5.